Hey everyone, my name is Hannah Martin and today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to deal with performance and competition nerves. For me, I have always thought that once it got to performance day, the battle was more mental than physical. Having competed at the Commonwealth Games at the age of 15 on the other side of the world, as well as performing on the BBC Greatest Dancer in front of a television audience of millions, I can say with full confidence I have felt the brutal reality that stage nerves can have on a performance. Over the years, I've had the chance to work with some incredible coaches and sports psychologists who have given me keys on not only how to control these nerves, but also how to use them to your best advantage. That is what I hope to share with you today. Before we dive into the video, I really hope that you would take the time to click that subscribe button to become part of our motivating community. It would really mean a lot and would support me as I venture further into my dance journey. Let's get right on to it. Tip 1. Rationalise. Rationalisation has been a massive tool for me throughout my career so far. As the stress heightens and the nerves increase, it tends to affect your perspective on things. I have caught myself before a performance thinking, if this goes wrong, it could end my career. Or when I was a gymnast, I would think that it would be the end of the world if the routine was not performed perfectly. But upon reflection, I've realised that this thinking was so irrational. If I drop my hoop or ball, which has happened more times than I can count, the sun would still come up the next day, my brothers would still be there to greet me when I got home, and the truly important things in life wouldn't change. Yes, I would be upset with my performance, but it certainly wasn't the end of the world or the end of my career. The pressure affected the way I looked at the situation and this thinking certainly had more negative effects than positive ones. I'm not saying to disregard your performances as unimportant, you should take them very seriously. The next time you are feeling the anxiety start to mount up and the irrational thoughts take over, just remind yourself that it is just a performance. Even if worse comes to worse, you will still be living and breathing afterwards. Life will carry on whether or not you win the tournament or perform your pirouettes perfectly. The next however many minutes you are on stage does not define who you are as a person. Tip 2. Visualise. This is a skill that works for some people and not for others, but I personally found this revolutionary in my mental training. 10-15 to 15 minutes before each routine I would listen to the music of my performance and visualise myself doing each element perfectly. This mental task would help me focus on the job at hand, rather than worrying about what might be going on around me or the stakes that may be very high. Sometimes I would find my mind would drift off to other things or, ironically, I would visualise myself failing a tricky skill in my routine that I was nervous about. In this case, I would rewind the music and listen to it again until I visually completed the whole routine perfectly. I've always believed that you must train the brain first and the body will follow. Visualisation somehow quieted my nerves as it reminded me that I am performing something that I have practised and practised and practised. The routine is no different, my body is no different. I knew that I was conditioned to produce a consistent performance. The odds were really in my favour if I could just control and focus my brain. Tip 3. Be in the present. Focus on each movement as it comes. It's easy in a performance and competitions to get swept up in the emotions of it all. There is often so much going on around you to distract you, but just a slight lack of focus and that could be the difference between a mistake and a clean run. I remember one competition where I was having a completely irrelevant conversation going on in my own head throughout the performance. I can distinctly recollect I spotted a camera midway through my routine and was trying to weigh up if my mum was being able to watch me back in the UK or if the internet streaming was lagging too much. Next thing I knew, the hoop had oh escaped no. from my grasp and it was off the floor area. Not my proudest moment. Focus words really helped me to avoid this scenario happening again. Leading up a few weeks before a performance I would have certain cue words which I would say to myself in my head before a particular movement. This way my brain would be entirely focused on each skill as it came instead of being allowed to wander off, letting the body go into automatic pilot. For example, I would say to myself, shoulder on a poncho balance or pirouette, a reminder to keep it lifted to avoid myself twisting and falling out of the element. Again, this doesn't work for everyone, but I do highly recommend giving it a go if you struggle to stay focused during a performance due to nerves. Tip four breathe. 
I find taking deep breaths before a performance somehow calms me and gets out all the stress that is building up in my body. It's almost like a little pep talk for the muscles before they have to deliver a sudden burst of energy. Again, this is very personal to my own way of preparing, but I have found both deep breaths and controlling my breathing when I start to feel anxious about performance as a good physical coping strategy. Tip five, and perhaps the most important, remember your reason for doing it. There is often so much riding on a performance that we can sometimes forget the sole reason why you're actually doing it at all. Remember you perform because you love what you do. This love will be reflected in your performances as long as you do not let those nerves get the better of you. Be proud of all your hard work, be proud of all those extra hours you put in and go out there and enjoy every second. I know it's easier said than done. For me, I never want to look back on my career, regretting that I never enjoyed myself because I was always stressing that my performances were not going to be perfect. Something I've realised through years of performing, it's never going to be perfect. Perfection doesn't exist. You can only do the very best you can in that very moment. And your best at that moment in time might be falling on your backside. But if you know you gave it your all and you didn't let the fears of failure hold you back, there is nothing you can be upset with. Many times I have let these fears zap all the joy out of performing. I don't want that for you. Often dancers or gymnasts' careers are very short and because of the high risk nature, you never know if injury could cut it even shorter. So every time you are out on that stage, live every moment and relish the feeling. You can never be sure when you will be able to feel it again. I hope these tips were helpful for you. If they were, make sure to hit that subscribe button as I make content like this all the time to keep you inspired and motivated. If you have any other tips you would like to share, feel free to comment them down below. I love hearing your thoughts. And most importantly, don't forget to dream big and make it happen.